So, hello, I'm Lukas, and I'm an IT infrastructure specialist at Nordia IT Poland. We were formerly a part of Nordia Bank Pol of Poland. Uh, right now, we're a separate company, and we are providing IT support for branches in Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. And we're dealing with core banking, our e-banking, back office, everything that's in store for our branches, we deal with it. We've got a large, complex IT infrastructure, and it's under constant monitoring, so our monitoring setup uh, is quite complex. And what's the place of Zabbix? Well, Zabbix is actually, if you look at it from the point of our infrastructure, is actually quite small. It's a medium-sized setup, consisting of 350 hosts, about 50,000 monitored items, and 20,000 triggers. And why it's so relatively small? Well, we've got a complex setup and uh, multiple monitoring systems. We're using Zabbix uh, alongside with SCOM, Dynatrace, Oracle monitoring, uh, many others for our network infrastructure. What's the place of Zabbix? Well, Zabbix is used exclusively for our Unix and Linux-based infrastructure, and that means our, the most important databases we use, all of our core banking systems, so it's at the very heart of our monitoring setup. And uh, this is going to be a short talk about integrating Zabbix, which we consider very nice because it plays well with other systems, and another system we use, Jira. Well, Jira is a commercial issue tracker, and we use it as our primary issue tracking system at Nordea. It's got a widespread use, and uh, it's very flexible, very easy to integrate with other systems, just like Zabbix. So why not put those two together, and why not provide some value for us by integrating Zabbix and Jira? And uh, a small disclaimer, I'm very used to working with ticketing systems previously, so uh, Jira has its own set of names. When you consider it to be a ticketing system, and you've got uh, the memory of mm, what a ticket means and what a ticket queue is, well, Jira has both of those just under different names. So they are using issue for the ticket, and a project for a ticket queue. So uh, excuse me if I'm going to uh, t talk about tickets and issues and uh, if I'm going to mix those two together because basically they are the same thing. <coughs> what is our purpose? What we are trying to accomplish? I will try to present a way in which we can create a Jira ticket from within Zabbix, so uh, generate a single new issue by a Zabbix event. And uh, I'll try to show how it's possible to do this in a way that's very extendable. Because when you look at it from a very simple point of view, when you, the only thing you want is to create a Jira ticket from Zabbix, well, a simple email would work, just like with Request Tracker. But an email won't provide you with uh, some extra functionality that is able that we are able to accomplish when using another technique which I which I'm about to show so the first thing in order to create some tickets from within Zabbix is we have to prepare Jira and the preparation is quite simple the only thing you have to do is you have to create a ticket queue so you have to create a project and uh, Jira has a, a very simple to use template called Simple Issue Tracking template that creates the whole project for us and it creates this project with the following life cycle. So our new project is going to operate just like a simple issue tracking queue with a to-do state in progress and done. And this will be it's quite sufficient from our perspective. And that's all you have to do from within Jira. You can create custom fields for the ticket, but this is out of scope for this short talk. 
The next, next thing is preparing Zabbix. And in order to do this, I'm going to go back to our purpose. We need to create a ticket. We need to provide a way to link the ticket back to Zabbix. So uh, it would be nice if within this Jira ticket we had the link back to the event that caused the ticket to be created. And the system should allow further extension by mm, modifying this setup to be able to acknowledge the event with a link to ticket. So it should provide integration in both ways. And in order to do this, well, if the only thing we would want to do is to create a ticket and to link the ticket back to Zabbix, a simple email to Jira would suffice. But this wouldn't provide us with the flexibility that it's needed for the third thing. So we need to create a new media type. We're creating a media type and filling the name and the script name. And that's all. Apart from the media type, we need to configure a new user associated with this media type. And there are two fields we need to worry about. We need to choose the created media type in the type field. And although I have written don't worry about it in the send to field, that is only because the send to field would, would not have to be used within this media type. Uh, it's normally used when you're sending email, and this is the field when you type in the email address. And since we're communicating with Jira directly, this field serves no immediate purpose, but we can abuse it, or we can use it to provide uh, the link to our Jira. And in this way, when our Jira instance address changes, it's the same as if uh, somebody's email address would change. You already immediately know what field in Zabbix you need to change. And after the user configuration, we need to configure an action associated with an event. And the thing you need to know is that to our media script, we'll be passing three values. First of those would be the recipient, and this is the send to field I was talking about. The second argument would be the subject, and the third thing is a message. And we have already seen where we can define the first argument passed to our script, and those two other arguments can be set up in the action config, right here. We can, this is, this, those are the defaults, but we can use some macros in order to pass, for example, the URL of the event that trigger that was triggered in Zabbix. <coughs> Sorry. And the final thing would be the glue that links Zabbix and Jira together, so our media type script. And this is actually the most simple script I could think of. It's a Perl script that uses Jira client automated module. And it just creates the ticket with the provided three arguments. Due to the nature of the talk, it's a short talk, uh, this is the very basic thing. And it, the script itself accomplishes the same thing as a simple email to our Jira would accomplish. But since we have already started uh, to write the script, we can easily extend it with providing a link to our Zabbix event, because we can parse the message field. We can communicate directly with Zabbix API, and thus we can modify via an API call, we can modify the event. We can acknowledge the event with a link to Jira back. And there are some other possibilities. For example, you can include some graphs, some Zabbix graphs as attachments. You can create subtasks sub within Jira for separate people. Basically, it's as extensible as you'd like it to be. So, 
some end remarks. If you have other ticketing systems within your company, the same technique I've used here is shown in a, an excellent book uh, called Mastering Zabbix by Andrea and Stefano. And uh, they are talking about request tracker. So if the ticketing system that you are using is request tracker, just look at the book. It provides an excellent example and it uses Python. So even if you are using Jira but you would like to see how it's done in Python, you can use the same technique and you can use these examples provided by Andrea and Stefano. And as long as you focus on the technique that is used, so defining a separate media type script and using communication with API calls to your ticketing system and to Zabbix, the same technique can be applied to virtually every ticketing system you can think of. So this would be all. Are there any questions? <laughs> Uh, how you uh, solve a problem with uh, f trigger flapping? With ticket uh, flooding? Well, uh, how, how many uh, jury tickets will be created uh, in this case? Uh, actually, not so much. Uh, it's a very important thing not to automate creating multiple tickets, like, for example, oh, we've got this new mechanism of creating tickets in Jira. Let's associated with every trigger that is above a high severity. Uh, this would be a very bad thing to do. What we are doing is we're, we only create tickets in JIRA when there are several steps that need to be performed. Uh, for example, let's provide a real-life example. Let's say we have a corporate payment by a, significant, uh, by a business customer of significant importance and the payment was rejected for some reason. Uh, we noticed this immediately because we are actively monitoring the rejected message queue within our MQ system. And immediately when we notice it, the first thing to do is not to take some action upon it and uh, restart uh, the payment authorization process. The first thing we need to do is to inform the business customer. And we don't do this directly uh, from our IT department. So from our perspective, the first thing we need to do is to inform the p person responsible for contacts with this business customer so that he can immediately inform the customer and provide communication. Then we need to register an incident report according to ITIL practices. And uh, simultaneously, we need to mm, process the payment once again. So uh, there are actually multiple steps involved and every time those are the same steps. And it's uh, the easiest way to track it is not by sending an email to uh, the monitoring team but by creating a task in JIRA w with a separate subtasks for uh, people involved in maintaining the communication process. So this is a very well defined example of when we could use it. And uh, uh, the worst thing to do is to uh, take a blanket approach and uh, cover all of your Zabbix events with uh, tickets in Jira. Uh, we uh, strive to provide those tickets only when there are some separate, well-defined tasks to do. Like, uh, for example, when you have a well-defined workaround and you already know what steps are needed to be performed by some two or three teams. And uh, this is the case when we're using Jira. Thank you.